Hello everyone, today we're going to multiply radical expressions wherein the indices are different but radicands are the same. So, let us have a review of radicals wherein if we have the nth root of a raised to the m power, so n is what we call the index, okay, and then m is what we call the exponent of the radicand a and then this is the radical symbol or the radical sign okay so indices is the plural of index and then radicands that is the plural of radicand okay so, let us have now an example. Let's say number 1. We have the 4th root of 5 times the cube root of 5. So, as you can see, indices are different. Okay? In the first radical, the index is 4. In the second radical, the index is Three. Okay? But radicands are the same. So, radicands are the same. Which is 5. So, our first step is we're going to write the radicals in exponential form. Or in expression with rational exponents. So, we have the first radical. We have 5 raised to 1 fourth. Okay? Then, for the second radical, we have 5 raised to the exponent 1 over the index 3. Okay? So, here we're going to write the radicals in exponential form. Or, in expressions with rational exponent. Next is, we're going to apply the product rule for exponents. That is, we have to copy the same base, which is 5, then add the exponent. So, we have raised to 1 fourth plus 1 third. Okay, so we use here the product rule of exponents, x raised to m times x raised to n, wherein this is equal to x raised to m plus n, okay? Then, next step is we're going to simplify the exponents. So, we have 5 raised to, you're going to get the LCD. So, we have here 12. Then, we're going to divide 12 divided by 4, so that is 3, times 1, we have 3, plus, okay, 12 divided by 3, so that is 4, times 1, so we have 4. Then, let us add the numerators, so we have 5 raised to 7 over 12. Okay, then after that, we're going to rewrite the product as a single radical. So, here, this one, we're going to write this as a radical, in radical form. So, we're going to get the denominator of this exponent. So, write it as the index. Then, you're going to copy 5 as the radicand and then 7 as the exponent of the radicand. So, in radical form, this is equal to the fifth, uh, 12 root of 5 raised to the 7th power. So, here we're going to rewrite the product into radical form. Okay, 
then let us now simplify so we have the 12 root of 5 raised to the 7 power that is equal to 78,125. Okay. So our last step is we have to simplify. Okay. So this is now the answer for number 1. The 12 root of 78,125. Okay. Next, for number 2, let's say we have square root of 2 times the cube root of 2. So, our first step again is we're going to write the radicals in exponential form. So, for the first radical, we have 2 raised to the exponent 1 over the index here 2. Now, if this, there is no index in a radical, so understood that that is 2. Then times the second radical, we have 2 raised to the exponent 1 over the index 3. Then after that, we're going to add the exponents using the product rule of exponents x raised to m times x raised to n you will just add the exponent m plus okay m plus n okay so we have here 2 raised to 1 half plus 1 third the next step is we're going to simplify the exponent so we have 2 raised to you are going to get the LCD, which is 6. Then, divide. 6 divided by 2. So, that is 3. Times 1, we have 3. Plus, 6 divided by 3, we have 2. Times 1, we have 2. Okay. Then, let us, let us now add the, the numerator. So, we have 2 raised to 5 over 6. Okay, the next is, next step is we're going to write this as a single radical. So, we have the denominator as the index. We have the sixth root of new, um, 2 as the radicand or the base as the radicand. And then, the numerator of the exponent as the exponent of the radicand. So, we have raised to 5. Okay? Then, after that, let us simplify. We have the 6th root of 2 raised to the 5th power. We have 32. So, this is the answer for number 2. Next is number 3. Let's say we have the square root of 5x times the fourth root of 5x. Okay. So, we're going to write it as into radical form. So, we have 5x. So, you have to enclose this in a parenthesis. Raised to 1 over the index 2. Okay. So, you have to enclose in a parenthesis because if you're going to Write it like this, 5x raised to 1 half, meaning to say the base of 1 half is only x, okay? So, that's why you have to enclose this in a parenthesis. Then, times this one, 5x raised to 1 as the exponent, because the exponent of this radicand is 1. Then over the index, 4. Okay. Then after that, we're going to make use of the product rule for exponents. Wherein we just, you add, we have to add the exponents. So we have 5x, again enclosing a parenthesis, raised to 1 half plus 1 fourth. 
Then, let us simplify the exponent. So, we have 5x raised to LCD is 4. So, 4 divided by 2. So, that is 2 times 1. We have 2 plus 4 divided by 4. We have 1 times 1. We have 1. Okay. Then, after that, we have here 5x raised to 2 plus 1. We have 3 over 2. 4 rather. Then, after that, we're going to write this as a radical or as a single radical. So, we have the index. We have 4 truth of the radicand 5x. Then, enclose this in a parenthesis. We have here 3 raised to the third power. Then, after that, we have the fourth root of. So, using the base law of exponents, we have 5 cubed. That is 125. Then, x raised to the third power. So, x cubed. So, this is the answer for number 3. Okay. So, That's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and click the notification button for more videos and updates. Thank you!